Hey guys, EC Network here, coming at you with another video. So Cartoon Network has finally begun to announce their plans for the 30th anniversary, and so far they seem kind of lackluster if I'm being honest. So they had this new promo air on the channel saying the Cartoon Network birthday bash is coming for Labor Day weekend, and what they're planning on doing is airing some Cartoon Network movies on the channel throughout the entirety of Labor Day weekend, which is in the beginning of September. And you might be asking yourself, DC Network, that doesn't sound bad. Why are you saying it's lackluster? And the reason why I'm saying it's lackluster is because in that promo, they show the movies, or at least some of the movies they're going to be airing during the weekend and they're all from modern cartoon network shows with one exception so they show the we bear bear movie the steven universe movie they show craig of the creek they show teen titans go the night begins to shine and then they show the original teen titans which i presume is probably trouble in tokyo since they're doing movies and specials as the theme which like what about all of the other cartoon network shows that were you know airing throughout your 30 year history why is it that you're only showing off these newer shows with the exception of Teen Titans? But Teen Titans has kind of gotten a little bit of a special treatment from Cartoon Network over the past couple years, being one of the few shows that has actually seen reruns a couple of times throughout the past few years, the others being Ben 10, the original Ben 10, and, you know, we've seen regular show a couple times, but only a few episodes here and there. But anyway, so that's their big plans, at least as of right now, for the 30th anniversary when it comes to the channel itself. They have put out a tweet saying that they're putting together a playlist for a live stream and they want to know the fans' favorite episodes from any show over the past 30 years of Cartoon Network's history. So it seems like they're saving all of the old stuff potentially for this YouTube live stream. They did say there's going to be some fun surprises in the live stream, which I wonder what that could possibly be. Like maybe they'll have some of the old creators come on for like an interview or something. Thing. Maybe they'll have some new announcements from some merchandise, some DVDs or Blu-ray box sets. Maybe they'll even have some announcements for some, you know, specials in the future regarding these old properties. Like, hey, is it too much to hope that maybe Galactic Kids Next Door could get announced during that live stream? Yeah, is that too much? Okay, never mind then. Overall, if this is all they're doing, and I say if, because like I said before, we still have some time until the 30th anniversary is upon us, so there is the possibility that they could announce more, but if this is all they're doing then it's really a big disappointment in all honesty like it's cool you're doing this birthday bash movie marathon during labor day weekend but why is it that in the promo at least you're only showing modern shows with the exception of teen titans what about foster's home for imaginary friends or ed and eddie those are two of the bigger cartoon network shows from their 30 year history why aren't those in the promo why aren't you also showing shows that were big throughout their 30 year history not just the show that are big now being Teen Titans Go, The Amazing World of Gumball, and Craig of the Creek. The one explanation I could possibly think of for this is maybe there are old shows during that birthday bash weekend and they're just showing the new ones in the promo because those are the ones that kids will recognize nowadays. So they want to, you know, attract kids with the new shows while also introducing them to some of the old IPs. That is possible, but at the same time, I feel like if you show Teen Titans Go, We Bear Bears, you know, The Amazing World of Gumball, and Craig of the Creek in the promo and then throw in Ed and Eddie, you know, who name kids next door or Chowder or a regular show. I feel like that won't stop kids from watching it because you're showing some old with the new. So you're not exactly like alienating anybody. You're showing stuff that will attract older audiences in the classic series and then you'll attract younger audiences with your current series. But instead, it looks like at least right now it's going to be mainly current stuff, which would really suck. I hope that's not the case. I hope I'm just reading too much into the promo, but we'll have to wait and see on that the youtube live stream does seem cool but my only question would be if you're gonna air a playlist of some of the fan favorite cartoon network episodes from every show over the past 30 years why not do that on the channel itself as opposed to youtube that's my only question there like why are we doing that on youtube as opposed to on cartoon network
I know you guys said there's going to be some fun surprises and all, but like, wouldn't that be cooler if it was on the channel itself? Wouldn't that get more people to watch the actual cable channel where you're getting money for people watching it? Like, yeah, they'll get money from people watching the YouTube live stream because I'm sure they'll have advertisements and sponsors and whatnot, but like, it'd be much cooler to see it on Cartoon Network, the channel, not the YouTube channel, if that makes sense. But as of right now, that's all we know for the 30th anniversary. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there is more coming because if this is it this is really a disappointment this is honestly potentially worse than the 25th anniversary it's definitely worse than the 20th i would say it's arguable if it's worse than the 25th anniversary or not i'll leave that up to you guys in the comment section below but anyways let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all of this what do you think about the current 30th anniversary plans and like i said before is this worse than the 25th anniversary or is it about the same in your opinion i would say the 20th anniversary as of right now is better than the 30th unless if more gets announced but we'll have to wait and see on that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.